Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Software Tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you Corel Fast Flick and this is new and comes with Video Studio Pro X7 and basically what it is is a simplified version of Video Studio where you have your essential tools for creating a movie. So it's quick and easy and effective, it's very good and it's in three very easy stages. You select a template, you add your media, edit what you want and then you can then share it. Um, so basically first of all you can just pick a template here, I'm going to go for this one and you can see that it is like a, a pool or something full of water. Um, so I'm just going to go for that one and then we can move on to step two. You'll then see there is this big plus button here, you can't miss it and then you can go wherever your files are on your hard drive you can go to the area and you can insert your photos or your videos or both if you want to. I've got four photos here of monkeys um, and you can now see that they've inserted there and if you want to add more even though you've already added some just in case you missed some easy enough you can just click add media and you can add it on as well as these. So that's all there is at that stage and then when we press play you'll see that it's already added the, the media into the project. So you see it says Video Studio there, we're going to edit that later, but there are my photos already in there. It's all very fancy, it's all in there, and you can see that my photos have already come to life with just a few clicks of the mouse, so that's that part. Very nice, and you can change the music and the text as well, which I'm going to do now. Um, so what you do, if you want to change the text, go to the part on the timeline, click on the text, you can see it's now highlighted it you can change what it is. So, simply enough, I'm just going to call my monkeys because that's what they are. And I'm then going to position my text in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to change the font, color and then a few other things about it. Um, so I'm going to choose Arial Black, color as red, you can see it stands out very nicely there. It's bold already, italics, and it's underlined. You can align it to left, center, or right, and also whether you want it vertical or not. I'm going to keep mine horizontal. You can add a shadow if you want to. You can change your music if you want to do that. Then all you have to do is press Add Music. It'll open up this window, and then you can go to the place on your hard drive where you've got your audio, and you can select a track of your choice, click Open, Save, and it'll bring it into here and then you will have replaced the default audio track um, and then here you can adjust whether you want the for your volume whether you want your music to be louder or your video or you can have it halfway so they're both about half and half or you can have your music louder or your video track louder with the music in the background so it's just one simple slider there we then move on to audio normalization and this is what will adjust the levels of your video tracks um, to make them all around the same volume. So say you recorded a track which was a bit quieter than another track then it will do its best to match the two levels up to make them sound about the right volume, um, to make them about the same. We then move down to Smart Pan and Zoom and this is really for photos um, so if you have static photos like I've got then you can add the pan and zoom and it will add a bit more animation into it so for example it might pan it from left to right instead of just one picture which doesn't move at all so it adds a lot more animation into your photos and then we move down into movie duration and you can either fit your music to the movie or the movie to the music so say you had a 30 second music clip you can then fit for example a 40 second video clip into 30 seconds so it will cut it down to the right length or vice versa so that's that part and this other text I don't need so I'm just going to delete that and you can see I've now got my monkeys text here and then we're going to move on just press play it'll move on looks like some more default text coming up yep video studio again now we don't want that really so we're just going to select that press the text edit title I don't want that and I don't really want that but I'll just change that to monkeys again and I'll just edit this other one to monkeys and I'll put that at the top make it stand out again make it a bit red make it red bold shadow yep that's about right so I'll just keep that up there press play again and there's my photos automatically you had a border added to them so it's quick and easy 
in Video Studio it's a lot more advanced than this. Um, so this does it really the main parts for you which is brilliant because you're working off a template and again we've got some Video Studio there which is going to edit that's going to say the end. Can center that, change the color to red and that stands out nicely and that is basically our 30 second clip done very quickly and easily so once you're happy with what you've got then you can move on to step three save and share and very similar to Video Studio you can choose which format you want it to export in or whether you want it to save to your computer or to the web such as YouTube or Facebook and you do that by just clicking on that button there so once you're happy you can either save your movie or you can edit in Video Studio and if you did want to edit in Video Studio this will allow you to add more advanced things um, so yes that is basically Corel Fast Flick it's very quick and easy and very very effective so I do recommend it and I hope this tutorial has helped you thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next tutorial